because it generates a proper community. That's what it should all be about, different opinions. But I look at this transfer window and I think Anana was a mistake. I think it was a mistake. I don't know what Ten Hag's involvement in that mistake is, but to me, it's a glaring, ridiculously stupid mistake. Um, and I'll tell you why. We've got no money left. We've got no money left. Why did we spend £45 million on a luxury? And what I mean by that is, I know a lot of you didn't like De Gea, but our defence was fine last year. Our defence wasn't the problem last year. We should have waited a year, kept De Gea and used the £45 million on the real issues. I like Anana. We will play better football eventually. But did we need to upgrade the goalkeeper before upgrading the holes? If we are a ship and the ship has got holes in and it's sinking, do you spend the money fixing the holes or do you spend the money on a new sail? If you spend the money on the holes. I can't, I can't agree for one minute that Eric Ten Hag did that willingly. I don't think Ten Hag said, get me an Arna and we'll, let, we'll keep the holes. I think Ten Hag bought an Arna expecting a couple of more deals like Amrabat and, and, and a centre-back to happen. I don't think he willingly said, we've only got £45 million left, let's buy an Arna. I think he bought an Arna expecting the other deals to happen. So again, you've got to put it on Arnold and Murta. But looking at it now, when we're all geniuses in hindsight, if I had the power, I would send Anana back to Inter Milan and I'd use that 45 million on Amrabat straight away. Because, um, and a lot of people are saying Mount was the mistake. Well, you've got to put Mount on Ten Hag, you know, and you know I'm not willing to do that. Um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not getting into that. That's not, that's not, my stance is that we shouldn't have bought Anana. 45 million, we had to hear. You could say the same, actually, about Mason Mount. You're absolutely correct. And, and in some ways, I probably agree with that. We didn't need Mount when we had Ericsson. He's the same player, he's just quicker. So you're right. I would rather have not got Mount and got Amrabat. You're actually you're correct. You could do that as well. In hindsight, let's get an honour. Let's not get Mount. Let's use the money for Amrabat. You're absolutely correct. The, the midfield is more balanced. I agree. But, I, but, but, but in fairness to Ten Hag, whichever way you look at it, I don't believe for one minute he got an Ericsson upgrade and a De Gea upgrade and left the holes in the team willingly. I don't think he did that. I really, really don't. Um, I think he expected Maguire to go. I think he expected McTominay to go. I think he expend, expected uh, all that money to be in to get Amrabat and other players. And he's just been let down. Um, so look, what the important thing is, I don't know how anyone could show their face in the... I've done that from Luke. Um, our brain, I've done that one as well. The only one to blame for all this mess and the madness is the Glazers, says Glenn. No, I do, I do blame Arnold. He's the CEO. He was in charge of the Greenwood stuff. I do blame Murta. He is the director of football. Serve United right. If Ten Hag quits, Mark, he's trying to build a team with one hand time behind his back, says Glenn. And I don't want another season playing the football that hair means we have to play. And Arnold was the right choice, says Remy. Well, it's a personal choice, isn't it? Why do some people still make the dumb argument that the fact De Gea has no club yet means it was right for him to go, says Stephen? I'm not, I, I don't really care what, about where De Gea is now. You know, he's a legend of the club and he's gone and we've made that decision and we've got to move forward. But it's not.